Hello everyone, welcome to Software Testing Zone and this is our first session on ChatGPT. Well, ChatGPT is a really interesting tool which can be used for multiple, you know, multiple applications. But as a QA, how can we use it for our quality assurance field? Let's check on that. So to use ChatGPT, first you need to create one account with the ChatGPT. The process is very simple. Let us say I'm typing ChatGPT in Google. The first website https dot uh, chat dot open dot com just open this website and it will ask you to either log in or sign up okay now you can do sign up or login you can simply sign up with google or log in with google so you are having these options like continue with google continue with microsoft account and continue with apple okay or you can simply sign up as well so if you click on sign up it will ask you to put email address and password and all other fields you just need to continue and create an uh, account on this okay so signing up process is very simple once you uh, sign up and log into the website you will reach to this interface basically okay so this is chat gpt 3.5 which we are going to use and chat gpt 4 is a premium version which you need to buy 3.5 is very simple so uh, this is a command is kind of a command prompt where you you know interact with chat gpt and you you will ask your question so uh without a further ado let's start with this session let's say hi can you introduce about yourself okay as simple as that now let's see what it says yeah so of course i'm a chat gpt state of the art language model developed by an open am i'm a part of chat gpt 3.5 architecture which stands with the generative pre-trained transformer 3.5 so this is a brief brief info about you know chat gpt now one thing which uh, you guys should know that chat gpt has the data till september 2021 so it cannot return you results or responses after that so if i ask uh can you tell me results uh, results of india versus ireland with t20 series 2023 okay so this is the latest uh, t20 series between india and ireland so if you look for the result of it what let's see I'm sorry, but I don't have access to a real time data as my knowledge was last updated in September 2021. So it cannot be used for the, you know, things after September 2021 because it doesn't have that data and it doesn't work on the real time things. So uh, again, it cannot predict the future. For example, if you ask him, so based on the past cricket world cup results which team which team can win next world cup, world cup. Okay. this is what it says i don't have access to the data beyond september 2021 so i cannot provide information on any cricket events or world cups okay so its limitations are the data which is till september 2021 it can you know analyze that data and provide you the optimized result but not after that not after that now let let's start let's come to the main point as a queue what can we do that okay so let's say first that forget what you are and consider yourself as a senior quality engineer as a senior quality engineer so you know to ask chat gpt to answer our q equation you should consider itself as a quality engineer of course i can consider myself as a senior quality engineer for the sake of this conversation sure okay that's great now let's start with our first question uh, this is a basic interview question that how can i introduce introduce myself in an interview as a QA let's see what it shows well 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 it's giving you all the instruction you should follow 
and here are the steps so simply you need to you know state your name mention your professional title provide brief overview highlight your experience at the last you can see it has given you a small a small part which you can use to introduce about yourself as a QA in an interview so good morning it's like uh, good morning my name is Nitin and I am quality assurance engineer with over seven years of experience in the field I have worked in a diverse range of projects including mention relevant projects like you know you are working into a banking industry or e-commerce or let us say insurance and I'm well versed with the both manual and automation testing methodologies my approach to QA involves a keen remember to tell you your introduction to a specific role okay so if you're going for an API tester you're going for a manual tester you're going for automation automation tester you need to talk um, relative things about it right so yeah this was perfectly fine now let's have another question let us uh, can you create let us attain basic algorithms in basic algorithms mm or we can say 10 basic java algorithms as we are using java if you are using python you can mention the language over here for qa engineer for qa engineer can you create 10 basic java algorithms for qa engineer let's see what it shows certainly okay so yeah, so these are the basic Java questions or basic Java, uh, we can say programs, which can be asked in your interviews. Okay, so for binary search, for palindrome check, array sorting, string reveal, prime number check, duplicate element, linear search, anything like that. So for example, if I want to check for palindrome. So let's say, can you write a, can you write a program in Java? To check a string is palindrome or not the string is palindrome palindrome or not okay enter center suddenly so here it is now if you want to check you just need to copy this code Let us Control C. I'll go to my Eclipse and I'll just paste it. Okay. Any errors we are having? Palindrome checker, scanner, scanner, scanner. We need to import some things. Let us import scanners. Scanner will be used to. What is this? Scanner starting. Okay, so we already have that's why it's asking this. We'll remove this as well. Okay, anything else? Mm, I think we don't need this. Yep, we are good. So it will be asking us for the string, enter a string, and then it will show if the string is palindrome or not. Okay, so this is a simple program. Let's run it and see how it goes. Exceptions when one Java error unresolved compilation problem Java 7. Okay, let's run one more, more time. Okay, enter a string. Now let us say the string is tenet. Enter the string is palindrome okay one more time if you run it and let's say the string is india the string is not palindrome so it can give you whatever program you want if you want the same pro program in python can you write can you write above program in python okay it's as simple as that can you write up a program in python and yeah so it will write same program in python language as well right it's working perfectly fine now if you have pycharm or any other ide to execute python 
so you can simply execute this uh, code and see if it's working fine or not okay now let's um, ask some quick questions so can you write 10 test cases for facebook login page facebook login page enter let us see okay great so it has mentioned all 10 test cases right let's see test cases valid login credential test if user can successfully log in with valid username and password okay expected result user should be logged in and redirected to the facebook home page invalid for incorrect login credentials empty username with both username and fields are left empty empty username and password test if the system handles the scenario when only the username field is empty only the password field is empty right so it has written detailed test cases for the facebook login page well 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 that that's that's great right so this way so one more thing which i would like to tell you that you should not you should never copy the things as it is chat gpt gives you uh, information which you can use for your reference while creating a test cases if you are working on any login page of your website you can refer the test cases and you can modify your own test cases accordingly okay so do not depend on chat gpt you can use this information as a reference and you can use it right now okay now one more question we will ask that can you create a bug report for login failure on facebook.com login failure on facebook.com so we are having a bug or defect in the login itself on facebook so let's see what what it does this is really brilliant and this is really brilliant it's it's just mentioning each and every step which you should consider while you know creating a bug or defect so steps to reproduce we are having a summary then steps to reproduce navigate to this then enter valid username in the email enter valid password in the field click on login button expected behavior actual behavior additional information if you are having you can provide that in which environment you are executing your code then or you are checking your website attach your screenshot your proofs what is the severity severity should be high because login is very critical functionality and it should work in any case okay so impact user are frustrated due to being locked out in their account and this issue may you know affect facebook reputation and user. so whenever we are creating a bug report we don't really mention this all things uh, like impact if it, it, it's subjective if uh, our team is asking us to make uh, you know mention the impact then only uh, reproducibility attachments expected resolution time so you can you can you know avoid some of the fields but some fields are really important like severity screenshots environment additional information is again optional actual behavior expected behavior is compulsory steps to reproduce compulsory and summary is again compulsory so this way you can use chat gpt for your advantage you should not copy paste the things from chat gpt you can use it for your reference okay so uh, this was our first session so i'm not touching very complex prompts or complex question with the chat gpt in our upcoming sessions we will definitely ask some difficult questions to chat gpt and see how it works the questions related to your test summary report your test plan your traceability matrix your defect summary reports right your different charts which we you know, create in our test processes okay so those all things will be covered in our upcoming sessions so do do subscribe to the channel guys and you know uh, be with me in this our journey thank you very much thank you very much if you like do share and uh, do subscribe to the channel thank you very much have a great day bye bye